Hey guys, in today's video we're going to show you how to manage your expenses in the settlement screen. So we're going to go to Recycling Settlement and we're going to click one of our settlements here. So when the screen opens up you can see we have four different uh, tabs here. Uh, we have Commodity, Services, Audit, and the Expense Management. We've went over a bunch of the other tabs in previous videos, but we're going to concentrate on the expense management tab. Now this tab's useful for an accounting side or a sales rep that's managing commissions for other salespeople. So what that means is, you know, we have a list of all assets that are being audited and received into the system. You're eventually going to be paying, crediting, or charging for various assets as they're coming into the system. Now. You know, there's typically more, you know, there's different costs or different expenses incurred on a specific product. There's overhead, auditing expenses, labor expenses. So this screen allows you to add on those additional expenses. Your customer's not going to see those expenses. It's merely for internal purposes. So it's going to allow you to sell that product and run reporting to pay appropriate commissions to a sales rep. So it's going to give you as true of a profit margin as possible. So we're going to take a look at this and when you're in the expense management tab you have the uh, opportunity to export out to Excel um, which we'll show you in a second. Um, your other options are you can inline edit and start filling in the different expenses. Our system has the capabilities of automating the various expenses for auditing, erasure, data destruction and mis miscellaneous overhead. So it'll look at the various categories and uh, apply a specific expense. So you can see here, um, this is a CPU, so we charge a dollar auditing expense. Over here we have four dollar expenses because these are servers and they're more costly to properly audit. And it also tally up all the individual uh, erasure jobs that occurred for an asset. If you want to go through and audit these uh, or apply expenses individually, so the erasure expense, a good expense would be what is your uh, data wiping licensing fee. So if you did apply an erasure expense, you have the opportunity of indicating it here. Um, you also have the option of applying shipping expenses. So if you knew this particular load uh, cost you $300 to pick up, you would take 300 and divide it by your 116 assets and then apply that shipping expense. So it's applied individually to the uh, other things here. All right, now what we'll do here, we're going to export out to Excel, and this is going to allow you to process the order in Excel, and it's going to be done very quickly. So over here we have the export. Now if you need to do the uh, import back into the system, you could go through and itemize some things that potentially were missed. So if we had um, 116 assets, let's see, this is 116. Um, let's, let's assign a $500 shipping fee divided by 116 so we have four dollars and 31 cents so if you wanted to apply that we would do 431 and what you could do is just copy it all the way uh, to the bottom if you had any other expenses you could indicate them here and uh, once you're finished you could go from there now if you needed to adjust some of the pricing you did for the uh, vendor pricing per asset you would be able to indicate them here and that'll import in So I'm going to save this and we're going to go back and in order to import, you're going to go to the expense management tab, click import expenses and select the expense file and we hit yes. And that's going to import it in and overlay in all the pricing. So you can see here the 431 was applied to all the um, shipping line items here. Now, when we look at this over here, we paid $50 to this particular vendor. But now we can see what our actual costs were. So in this case, it was $35 and the total expense was 40. It was 35 plus the additional expenses here. So that's well equated over to 43.81. Now, once this item sells, you're going to see a, a gross profit margin uh, being calculated here. So right now it's a, a negative profit margin. So that's how you use the expense management tool and how to import in properly.